fantastic flight. Today I've come to fish with the Zero, 10 foot 6, a couple of nymphs, try for some grayling with a Jeremy Lucas dry fly zero weight, a little orange indicator tied on, braid, greased up with line slick, two bugs, and some split shot on the point to see if we can't get some grayling. sort of roll cast out like this and just flop those nymphs around I can do them up there if I want behind me what the zero is good for is just what if you put a movement here it happens at the rod tip Fudge, this is circle cast see I've not even moved my elbow. And that's what this rod's for. You put a little bit of movement here. It's good because whatever you do with your hand happens at the tip. You can have very, very small movements. See what I mean? You move your hand, you just move your wrist and the tip moves. There's so much action in the rod. Woof. Right, let's get some grayling. The zero's perfect for this kind of water. It's not too deep, it's not too fast so I can still get away with throwing pretty heavy bugs down into this deep pocket. You just gotta keep searching for grayling, haven't you? The light's falling. I've got Jeremy Lucas dry fly line on. I've got a little orange braided indicator. Six, seven, eight feet of fluorocarbon 0.14 tippet with two droppers on, two grayling bugs. You know, it ain't complicated. This river don't hold a lot of fish but the ones it does have can be quite good sizes so it's a bit of a you know it's a high risk big reward sort of situation here so we get on See that rod bending? Oh, it's a nice fish. Big design to get these fish in and light tip it. This is fairly substantial grayling. It's got its fin up in that in that current. It's a really nice fish. We took the top dropper. That's what the zero is for. 